All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our TensorFlow course, and we're still doing our fine-tuning module. Let's have a look at what we went over today. As I informed you, I'm still in the process of running my model to make sure everything is working as it should be, because as I told you before, that one thing is built off the top of another. So if it isn't working by now, I have to fix it, because moving forward, if I don't fix it now, nothing is going to work in the future with this particular module. And as you can see, we have an error here. So I got to the very end yesterday. I thought it was just because of the memory allocation that the code crashed. So I actually fixed it and we got far again. And then it got to the very end of the code and it crashed again. So I went to check it and see what was going on. And you can see here, uh, I had a comma here initially. So it was like this when I ran it. So that threw an error. As you can see, the batch normalization with a comma that threw an error. So I had to run it again. Like I told you, this uh, the code is getting so long now that it takes about two hours to compile. So that was two hours down the drain because it didn't crash into the very end. Because as you can see, the, the bash normalization is way at the bottom. So it went through everything. Everything's working fine up until that point. And then it got to about, let me get to it. It got to here and then it crashed. And as you can see, this is the last piece of code we had. So it ran through the whole compilation and then crashed when it got here. So I fixed it, and then I ran it again. And then I got to the last part again, and then I realized at the last minute that I didn't have these X's here that I needed. So it was like this for for the uh, for my dense layers. This is how it was set up when I ran it the second time. And of course, it crashed again. So that was another two hours down the drain. So I am not going to run it again right now because I do have to focus on the pine cone. Let's see what's going on with that. I've been uh, working on that in between running these or compiling these codes to try to get that up and going. So, yeah, this code is actually already written. So I just have to tweak it and make sure everything is good and working the way it's supposed to be before we move forward. Because like I told you, one thing is built off the top of another. So now that we have the comma removed, we have our X's added. Everything should be in working condition. I'm going to compile it again. Not right now. I'm going to work on the pine cone again. But yeah, so everything should be working moving forward. And again, it takes about two to two and a half hours to actually run this code because it's getting so long and we're doing so much with it. So that's why I'm not going to be just spending all day just running code. I will never have a chance to dive into the pine cone, which is what I would actually want to do because that's the code that's actually my start right now that I need to fix. This code is done. It just needs to get tweaked here and there so we can actually get it compiled all the way to the end. But of course, I will keep you posted every step of the way. For now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.